In this tutorial, we're going to build a 360 video player inside of Unity. So we're going to use a video from Metal. So I just went to Google and searched for free 360 video downloads and I found this page. I just went for the first one here and downloaded that through Vimeo. So we'll basically be following the guide from uh, Unity's documentation to create panoramic videos but we'll be focusing primarily on the panoramic version of video. So no cube maps or anything like that. So let's get started. Inside of Unity, I've imported VRTK and Steam VR. This is basically just to get a 360 viewer afterwards. That's kind of easy to drag and drop into the application. So first of all, I'm gonna drag my video into Unity. So with the video integrated, we need to get a player. I'll just be using the sample scene that is originally set up in the standard project of Unity. So I'll right click and I'll create an empty game object. I'll add my video to that empty game object, which will add the video player. So what you need to do is you need to set your render mode to render texture. Now we need to create a target texture. So I'll be setting up a new folder inside of assets here. I'll call it video. And inside of this one here, I'll right click, I'll choose create, and I'll choose the render texture. So the render texture, I'll call that 360 vid. I need to figure out what the size of my video is because I need to input that into the size of the render texture. So I can click my video file here and I can click the name of the video file in the inspector here and I can choose the source info instead. So here I will get my pixels resolution. So I can go back to my 360 video here. I can say 4096 and 2048. And this is now the size of the video itself. So I will set my depth buffer to no depth buffer to improve playback because this is something that's quite render intensive for any device to play back. So what I can do now is I can select my game object again and I can over here, it needs the render texture. So I'll now take my 360 video render texture and add it to that target texture. So what we need now is we need a skybox to add to the scene here, right? So I will right click the video folder, I'll say create and I'll choose material. So this material is my new skybox, so I'll call it 360 skybox. And I'll go to my shader, and instead of the standard, I will choose a skybox. And of course, because my video is panoramic, I'll choose panoramic. So this one wants a texture. Here again, I need to add my render texture. If you only have a 180 degree video, you can actually change that here. So if you only have one direction, then you can choose that. Because we have a 360 video, we'll just leave it at that setting. So what we can do now is we can take the skybox itself and we can actually just drag it out into the sky here, which will load that texture onto the background. So if we hit play, it should start playing back that video. However, we can't really rotate in the game view yet because we just have a static camera. We can rotate it in the view over here, but that's kind of also the only thing we can do. Jump back out of game mode. So what I'll do here is I'll just take a simple VRTK scene, in this case, one of the examples, just the straight pointer one, because that doesn't have any fancy effects. And I'll steal the setup from this one. So as we don't have to go in and do all the setup for a player, I'll drag and drop the scene over into my hierarchy. I'll take my SDK manager, the scripts and the example scene scripts as well. And I'll drag them up into my sample scene and I'll just close back the 002 scene here. So remove scene, don't save because then I can use it at a later point as well. So right now this will give me all the setups that I need. It just has a few pointers on my controllers. It also has the scene switchers to switch between these examples. However, if you want, you can just delete that one. If we hit play and we jump into the VR headset. So as you can see now, I can move my head around and I can look in this 360 world. Everything is in the headset. Now I have a 360 video playing inside of Unity. And that's basically all that there is to it to set up a 360 video inside of Unity. Thank you for watching.